This is a News Channel 8 update. Hello and welcome. I'm Heather Zimmerman. Here's a look at Bay Area News. Tampa Police and the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office are teaming up for a crime sweep called Operation Alliance. Friday night, the teams arrested nearly 60 people, mostly on drug charges. Last night, they continued rounding up people with outstanding warrants. This mission targets Northeast Hillsborough County, and it's the second time this team has come together to fight crime since June. A lot of the criminals we deal with don't just stay within one area. They don't know jurisdictional boundaries like we have, so they go back and forth between the city limits and the county limits. Under Operation Alliance, the groups have a no-tolerance policy. Another goal of this project is to improve the relationship between the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and the Tampa Police Department. The man accused of leaving his children in sweltering conditions to die will stay in jail for a while. A judge denied bond for Michael Irvin yesterday. Deputies say the Valrico man left his five-month-old and his 17-month-old children in extreme temperatures for an extended period of time. They say he took the children to the hospital where both of them died. Investigators believe Irvin had been smoking marijuana. And they say he even fell asleep while doctors were trying to resuscitate his children. Authorities removed 432 animals from unacceptable conditions at an Ocala home. Marion County deputies say they found sheep, goats, ducks, endangered turtles, and even chickens in the house. Some of the animals were covered in fleas and matted with feces. Some had already died. Authorities say the couple who lived there had been keeping the animals in crates and pens. No arrests have been made yet. And it's the chance of a lifetime for hundreds of young ladies. They had to ch the chance to work out with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleading squad. Do the milkshake, shake it, shake it down low. Yesterday, about 200 girls and teens spent the day at Tampa's Jefferson High School working out with the Bucks cheerleaders. The 12th annual clinic gives squad members a chance to hang out with the young aspiring cheerleaders. First, they have to learn a halftime show that they'll be performing for our second preseason game. And during this, they will also have cheers and, and fun games that we play with them. My family's totally into football and the Bucks, so my grandma has season passes, so when we go, it's like, I know them, I know them. The Junior Buck cheerleaders meet again Friday when they perform at the halftime of the Bucks preseason matchup against the Houston Texans. And that's a quick look at Barry and News. I'm Heather Zimmerman. Join us again next hour. Now back to CNN Headline News.